Don't miss out on quality broadcasting. Please like and subscribe to Big World Cinema. Thank you. So one afternoon this week, I headed along Cebu South Coastal Road to the Il Corso Moor, one of the Philinvest group of life malls that offers shopping, dining and leisure activities. Il Corso opened its doors in July 2019, but was then impacted by the COVID pandemic in 2020 and also suffered structural damage from Typhoon Odette in 2021. So the place has suffered heavily. I visited Il Corso a couple of times, but always feel that the place is lacking and missing a trick. There's just not much here to get excited about. The mall itself is closed. Whether that's still due to Odette structural damage, I don't know. The place needs some serious investors to get it kick-started. <laughs> Don't miss out on quality broadcasting. Please like and subscribe to Big World Cinema. Thank you. to be working what are you doing you're lazing you're resting <laughs> yeah yes
Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Hello. Welcome to my guys. This is Taugi. Taugi or Taugi? Looks good. Yeah, yeah, taugi. Mongos. The Mongos. The Taugi. <laughs> gang, gang. Enjoy. Ladies, okay. great, okay. lovely. Okay. Have you been to Il Corso before? Uh, not yet. This is our first time visiting this Cebu. Is the first time. We're from Manila. Ah, oh, you're from Manila. Yes. First time in Cebu. Yes. Welcome. Yeah. How is it? How is it? Yeah, so How is nice. it? The place is so good. Why, why have you come to Cebu now? Um, to see friends, family, family, or just to visit the I know. What do you call that? The Centenino Chapel. Ah, have it's you been? Have you been already? Actually, I have. Did you go relatives to relatives here? You have relatives here. Yeah. Have you been to El Nino today yeah. already? Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. We came. Um, we came here yesterday. Okay. And how long are you staying for? Uh, only after to five days. Um, five, five, five days. On Saturday. Gosh. Yeah, we're leaving on Saturday. So where else are you going to visit in um, Cebu? We don't have plans yet. That's great. Yeah. Flexible. Yeah. It's flexible. So how did you hear about Il Corso? How did you hear about this uh, bit Actually, here? this is the first time I came here. My tita, my tita brought me here. Okay. Um. <laughs> you're being filmed, by the way. You're, you're, you're on camera. <laughs> hi, hello. From what country are you, sir? I'm from England. Oh, hi. Hello to uh, England people. Hello. <laughs> so nice to stay here in the Philippines. Visit here. <laughs> Thank you very much. They have a lovely long boardwalk that stretches for 1.3 kilometers where people can walk, cycle and jog. But why are there no benches or places to sit along the sidewalk? At a number of the eating establishments, the tables are set next to the car park and there's just no view. I can't understand why Philinvest didn't allow the businesses to set up their food shacks alongside the boardwalk overlooking the sea. 
As usual with the Philippines, I find that proprietors don't pay attention to their location. Near to SM City, a couple of new eateries have sprung up next to a dirty, stinky canal where the stench is overwhelming. Did the owners not think that for those people sitting there and eating, that it will be hazardous to their health and a bad idea? I don't get it. <laughs> no consideration is given to the overall dining experience. So for me, I find El Corso lacking. But hopefully, if I come back in another five years, they'll have sorted the place out. If you like the video, please could you like, share and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Take care everyone.